Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Let's head into last night's sleep research and see how things went. A lot of tossing and turning again last night. So again, very interested to see what's going on with the graph. But hey, 100 sleep score, so I can still be happy with that. But yeah, almost no slumbering, entirely snoozing and dozing. So that's very interesting to, to see. So, just gotta be, uh... <laughs> just gotta be mindful, trying to get some better rest as the week goes on. And dozing being the sleep type today, the last, being the last day, that that is relevant. Because then the New Year's event has wrapped, and we go back to business as usual. Alright, 25 million. We got quite a lot of two stars, just a handful of one stars, and a four star. So let's see who showed up. Alright, we got Gulp in a Top Belly, which is a new sleep style. Alright. We got Charmander, Ghastly, Togepi, Ekans, another Charmander, Banette, which is a new sleep style. Excellent. All right, two new sleep styles today. That's great. Is this my first Banette? Neck twisting sleep. Mm, that doesn't sound comfortable at all. That is my first Banette. A Pokemon born of a grudge that took up residence in an abandoned stuffed toy. Sometimes it appears to laugh happily when it sleeps. Perhaps it's remembering a time when it was loved and cared for. That's dark. That's dark Pokemon company. <sighs> you get some top belly sleep from Gulpin. All right, just one more to complete out its sleep decks. Okay, hopefully one or two Pokemon are hungry today, because there are some that I would like to feed. No. Okay, well, as much as I would like it to be Binette, without it being hungry, that's going to be a little difficult, so it's just going to be a straight pass on that. I am interested in the Charmanders and the Gastlies, um, so it's just really a matter of how do I break this up. First, let's make sure we see everything that we're working with today. Ooh, all right. Thank you for the ingredient ticket on Sunday. Okay. Oh. We'll definitely do the Charmander. And then what I guess I'm supposed to do in these instances is use the smaller biscuits to start with to bait out any critical or increased feed. Hopefully two biscuits is not enough and it can get fed a third. So I had a feeling neither of them would be critical. All right, that's all full. So it's all teed up for next time for either a premium biscuit or a great biscuit. And we'll try the same approach with Gasly. Oh, but that one came in critical. 
Cool. But because it's that first one, I'm not going to use a great biscuit and waste a... Yeah, that's fine. I got saved a biscuit from Charmander, so we'll just use it there. I'm at out the same amount of biscuits I thought I was, except one less great biscuit. And I get a little bit of everything. So that works out nicely, I guess. And it uh, satisfies the mission of befriending Pokemon for the week. But that is going to do it, because the only thing else that I would want is one that definitely needs to be hungry. Alright. Now, for that, I do know that, ben I mean, Bennett's new for me, so I'm going to share that with my, my friends. Get a little bit to help out boost up some of their ghost types. Now, before heading to the next screen, I did make an observation after I recorded yesterday's video that I should have noticed earlier, and I'm sorry if y'all were just yelling at your screen profusely, there is a better choice for what you're trying to do. <laughs> because I had noticed that there's another ingredient collector that is better suited with its berry loadout and food loadout for what I'm doing this week. And that is swapping the War Turtle for a Charmeleon. So we'll see how that pays out when we get back to camp. Let's take a look at our new helpers for today. So we got a Naive Nature Charmander. Again, ingredient collector. Helping speed, inventory up. Helping speed, inventory up, skill trigger with main skill chance down. Helping speed isn't bad if I was really wanting to focus it on berries, but it doesn't have anything that's really like preventing it from getting its ingredients. And the inventory up also is helpful. So I'll need to take a look at where that settles. It may not be terrible, but it doesn't look fantastic either. Could go either way. We got a Calm Nature Ghastly. This is also an ingredient collector for fiery herbs and also mushrooms. Ingredient Finder S, skill trigger, skill level up, helping speed, skill level up. The speed of help down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's too good. That, that pretty good right up until that nature. Really not doing it any favors. Okay. So we got some sneaky snacking. So yeah, here we can see I've added the Charmeleon to the team. It's... I didn't see a full day with War Turtle, so I don't know how its inventory and snacking stacks up. But at least this is pulling in more than the Diglett was. Which is good. Another ingredient for today. Ingredient ticket for today. Before I've even touched anything, getting our rank up. It's great, so we've hit a new record in Ultra 4. Befriended Pokemon, so we got some additional Dream Shards. I'm going to cook. So really the only thing that's going to be just missed out is the Master 2 rank this week. But we're starting to see that I'm inching closer and closer to that as these weeks go on, so that won't be out of reach for too much longer. And we finally now reach the end of our additional sleep points for New Year's, and just cross the threshold into having enough for next month's Master Biscuit. Okay. No news. Hopefully this coming week we should hear some more about getting prepared for the Good Sleep Day event for starting off 2024, but they may push that another week just to really be more like a week out. So we may still have a little bit of time for that. Earned a medal. That's cool. 
reaching Ultra 4 to Apollo and getting a biscuit back. That's great. Love it. Okay, how is the community doing? 41, great. And, ooh, rank up. You got a linking cord, that's fantastic to see. All right, now I got some friends looking to join in. So, we'll have to pop a couple of folks off just because more than seven days Getting off. That's a whole on week. And I haven't seen y'all. So welcome to the research group. <laughs> research community. Excellent. Okie dokie. So before we collect, ooh, some fiery herbs. All right. At least that's the really important skill activation that I definitely want to make sure that that goes through. All right. Let's get cooking. So now, because of that change, now that instead of milk, I'm getting bean sausage on there, I can make, now make that drought katsu curry which is still pretty low leveled really i could almost even make all that bulk of bean curry i just don't, don't have eggs that's where i'm that's where i'm hoping that ingredient magnet slowly through the week at points will drop off some of those low value things that i need in order to make some of those more specialty dishes because taking a look let's just do no recipe There isn't anything specific that I can make with this grouping just yet. Uh, mostly because I need either additional leeks, more fiery herbs, more milk. But we got 90 slots in there this week and uh, at least for this morning for today all right and we managed to fill it with still having ingredients left that hasn't happened in a while With having that charmeleon also having ingredient magnet but with a different set of berries and ingredients it's collecting yes thirty thousand dish strength that is what i love to see with a full pot with as best in the ingredients as i can really throw in Right squeaking over the line. 
to Ultra 5. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm so happy to see that. All right. So that would mean, currently, uh, to hit Master 1, it's another uh, approximately 45,000 strength. And then, like, another 55 <laughs> and on top of that, so good, good, nearly ninety thousand strength needed to get to master two. So be happy if we can squeak into master one today. <laughs> but uh, that would require so, again some additional extra tasties, as well as just some good sneaky snacking, because I will probably get through the rest of these ingredients since I've only got 30 of the 90 and only got two more meals to get through so there's definitely not enough there because I got no extra meal tickets to throw at it because I want to keep at least one of each but hey that's still great to see that's hitting still new record for me ah uh. Yeah, so the one last thing that I guess I just want to go over is just... Hey, okay, cool. This is the, the team composition that I landed on uh, to help making consistent, more strong meals by being able to get that bean sausage in there. At 30, it's getting more ginger, which I don't need a whole lot more ginger. I do need more, like, sausage to keep making those dishes. But... Um, at least this Charmeleon has got the ability to get that ingredient magnet, so it is capable of adding more to the mix. It does have main skill chance down as part of it, and it's an ingredient specialist, so it's not, like, the main desirable thing, but, um, it's at least as good as what I got for now, and it is at least helping to make those dishes more consistently. So really then focusing on in the weeks to come is getting both Charmeleon and finding as a better Charmander if possible and trying to find a better Cyndaquil. Because the Quilava that I've got, not super great. I, I think I can do better. So I'm not going to dump resources into really either of them as is until I get something that I feel a little bit better with. But at least I've got a now, finally, stronger team than Cyan Beach, so it's finally actually starting to, to play in to where I need it to. And we've still got quite a while before uh, I'm ready to head to Snowdrop Tundra. But I do have things that I can then dump resources into for more of our candy stuff if I may not be able to use it on this current team. <laughs> All right. But that's what I've got for today. I hope your New Year's event was eventful for you and got something useful, whichever starters or ice types you were looking for if you were making your way through Snowdrop Tundra. Let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you back tomorrow for some more sleep research. But until then, sleep well.